What's going on, everybody? It's Rican Rice jumping back into The Walking Dead. And yes, I know I've already had heard of it. I've gotten messages about it. Yes, this is the first season of it. And yes, I know the last season's already got the last episode and people are playing it. Yada, yada. I'm starting fresh. You know, I'm putting it out there, getting it on there, and enjoying it. I've never played them. I figured I got to start from scratch. Why start with something new when I got to start with the first? Anyway, where we left off. Lee and Clementine were at the were at Herschel's farm, and he just got done wrapping our leg and stuff like that. And we're heading to the barn to see what kind of surprises are in store. So let's go ahead and jump into it. What do we got? What do we got? Yeah, yeah. Just lay down, relax. It smells like manure. Manure, like when a horse plops. Just like that. <clears throat> I missed my mom and dad. Hmm. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty mm -hmm. far. Oh, okay. Um. Shit is getting weird. Hey, get up. <sighs> I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? Makes sense. That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. <laughs> the word is you were on your way to Macon. My well, family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Hmm. All right, well, I guess it's my turn to be doing some shit, I guess. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. It's actually a piece of shit, but Hall's all <laughs> right. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. Hmm. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted mm -hmm. out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a yes, boat. Yes, a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Mm -hmm. 
see you. Okay, we learned Kenny has a boat. I guess I guess that's a good thing. What do we got? What do we got? Alright, so he's over here building the fence. I guess we're gonna go check his ass out. And get get from the damn tree, homie. We're gonna go, okay. Uh You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the US farm bill though. I'm good. Hey Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. Mm. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Yep, it, yep family friendly right out the window with that. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. Hmm? How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon, I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too hmm. bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Yeah, all right. You don't seem too kind to me, so. I ain't talking to any kid. We good. Oh, wow, I shot my ass right to the farm. And chit chat. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. Yeah, me too. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? What is it? I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. Oh, and I'd start checking the attitude, friend. Go! I'll get my gun! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh shit, did I make the wrong choice? Oh, Snapple, Crackle, and Pop. Oh shit, um... Oh, sh um, uh, damn, um... Get out. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! And you! You didn't even try to help. I was worried about the boy. Look at him. But you weren't worried about that. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Oh, man. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. Damn. Shit got real fast. Did not expect that at all. <laughs> Damn. And the car sounds like it said, nope, I am done. That's it. We done. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. And now to venture out in the world. To find things, food, friends maybe. And not die by walking people that eat things that, like, you know, me. Look! Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. No. No. Fuck. They're not friendly. Who got the glass? You she got the gas. Run! Okay, we're running. Deuce. All right, yeah. Gunshots and shit. We can't take risks like this, and we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. Lee, can you believe this lady? That lady's my daughter. I can see the resemblance. My son won't grow up to be a raging fucking lunatic, that's for certain. Son? Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. 
And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here. And none of this will fucking Damn. matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! I'm sorry, Kenny. He's right. This is about survival. Lee? This is my boy, Lee. My boy! We can't! No, he's not bitten. Look! Look, he's clean. Not a scratch. Not a goddamn scratch. What do you think about that? It's Larry. And I'm fucking sorry. Good. Look, we're fish in a barrel here. With all the commotion, we could be under siege any minute. Then we better start fortifying this place. I'll work on getting that window barricaded. Good. Dad, sit down. I'm fine, Lily. Dad, please. All right. <coughs> <coughs> Really? No skill. No, 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 Almost got bit. Almost got jacked. Did not like that. Can you not aim that no more? Thank you. Appreciate you okay? it. Just great, thanks. Almost busted my ass. Uh, guys. Remember you protected her. Damn right she will. Everybody down. Stay quiet. They're gonna get in. Shut up. I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, 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 Dad! Ah, ah. Yep. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Mm -hmm. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. Be 
These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Alright, so apparently I am not wanting the ATM. <laughs> that is not what I'm looking for. What is this? Energy bar. I'm gonna take that, because I want to. Yep, I got an energy bar. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, schnitzel. Oh, yes. Blood and guts. Let's see it all, baby. I can't. I can't think about them in here. All right. Let's see. We are barricaded. This door leads to the back alley. That's right, his family's the one that owned the pharmacy, huh? Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Find anything? Track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? Sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. You do that. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Not the fact that I trusted her. I was just being polite. You know, she keeping a secret. That's like that. Might as well be polite. Uh, first aid. Luckily, there's nothing I need in there. Well, here. then, luckily, there's nothing you need in there. Kendo stick? What the hell? Oh, damn, his dad's walking, Ken. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shop lifting. <laughs> <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. Mm -hmm. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What are you 
parents do. My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Mm. Those are good jobs. Mm -hmm. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, hmm. like that. Okay. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Sometimes. We didn't fight. We just didn't talk for a while. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen, and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. Hey. I can relate. Find you a bandage. Maybe in the first aid kit, then? Yes, maybe. Very good, very good. Very good. Bandage. Bandage the child. Let's have a look yes, at this. Yes, yes, yes. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something. Alright. Bandage the child. Does it hurt when I do this? A mm. little. Not too much. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. There we go. Vantage it up. Very good. Very good, sir. Alright. Nothing in particular? Yo. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Well, I mean... They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Hmm. Alright, let's get in this damn office. It's well, no fine. shit. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Uh. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Would be up here. That's what I figured. My parents came in here hoping to survive. Looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Protect him hmm. at least. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Where would the keys be? How you doing? Okay, okay. Yeah. Didn't mean to chit chat with the kid. Um. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Yeah, but where are the keys at? It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. All right. No, I didn't mean to do... It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. That's the door to the well, pharmacy. Well, apparently, we should apparently per person knows helps you do that shit, too. How do I sort... No! Son of a monkey! It's locked. Mm. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. I keep hitting the wrong damn button. Alright. So... I'm trying to figure out. Ah, no, no, don't want to do that. Okay, apparently, uh, going through. There's nothing in the first aid, nothing on the telly. 
I mean, yeah. That's the door you know to what, the dude? pharmacy. I, we should be able to find pills I for Larry you. in there. I got you. Trust. I do. No, I don't. No, do not touch that door. Okay? Don't. Trying to figure out how we can go through inventory. And I'm not figuring it out. Didn't want to do that. Or right, maybe, yeah, let's do that. Controls. Actions, move character, pause, actions, move. Yep. Not a damn clue. Uh, resume, maybe? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that'll work. That'll fucking work. Um, where would keys be if I were a set of keys? This is starting to really bother the hell out of me. Uh. Have you heard from? Not in a little while. All right. I'm gonna keep looking around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We keep looking okay. around. I don't see no damn keys, bro. Stayed, kid. Yeah, I don't. Can't touch the cane. Uh, do not know where the keys are. See, like I said, I can't search anything else. And like I said, and like I keep thinking, my best bet is to go through the damn. Inventory, he said, maybe maybe the level's fine. Or maybe that was just him saying that. I do not know. I do not know. But as I look at the time, I'm thinking this is a good spot to end the, end the episode. And as always, this is Rick Rice saying, live life one grain at a time. Peace.